All right, welcome back to the tutorial on how to build an API gateway. And in the last tutorial, we set up this register endpoint for our API gateway to allow APIs to register with our API gateway. So we're going to take this register method and actually set it up where our APIs can register themselves with our API gateway because right now we have to do it manually we have to actually call it ourselves and do all that but we're actually going to go ahead and make this a little more dynamic and allow our API's to call this register endpoint they're set themselves so let's go ahead and start by going into our fake API um, project and go to the server JS in here we're going to actually make that call when we start up our server so when we call this app.listen in this callback we will make that registration call to our api gateway so in order to do this we actually need to install axios for our fake api project so you would just go into your project in the terminal type in npm i axios and you will install it. I've already done this, so I don't need to do that. But make sure you do this inside of the fake API project because that is where we'll be using it and it's not installed there yet if you've been following this uh, tutorial series. So let's go ahead and add Axios. All right, now that we have Axios, we can go ahead down to our app dot listen callback method and add it in here so we're going to make this call the same way we did in our main api gateway um path here so when we created this endpoint we use this axios call we're going to pretty much mimic this i'm going to actually just copy it because it'll be a lot easier that way so it's going to be right here. Now we just need to change some of this information. So the request method is actually going to be a post because we are calling that register method. So the register method takes a post request. And then the URL is going to be HTTP localhost. 3000 register slash register all right then we need to take in some headers the only header we will need is to tell this that it is a application dot I mean application slash json um, content type type and then it'll be set to application JSON. All right, so that's the only header we need. And then the body. The body is going to be exactly the same as what we have here. So we're just going to take this test API body. We're going to copy that. Actually, I'm going to delete it out of here because we're going to register it anyway. So I just want to show you that it's actually registering. So we'll save that and we'll take that body, put it over here. We're going to, I guess we can leave it as registry test. Um, yeah. So this here is the information that we need to pass in. And there's one other thing, since this is not a, um, JSON object at this moment, we're going to set these, take these quotes off of here because we're going to leave it as a JavaScript object. All right, so we set this up and now we have our Axios call ready to go. All right, and then on the response, we'll just um, log that. So this is not what we want. We want console.log. All right, 
So now we're logging this information. Uh, basically, it'll tell us if we have successfully registered it or not. So now that we have saved that, you can go ahead and stop and restart your fake API server. And as we can see, it says successfully registered registry test. So now if we go to our register.json, we can see that this has been registered. It even reformatted my uh, file here. So now if I pretty print this, it is what we put in our server.js. So now every time we start up this API, we will register this service. So if I change, um, let's change the port to, and actually we don't even need to pass that. We could pass port, make it a little bit more dynamic. So now, um, let's change this to, to make it, we're actually just gonna change this to be host plus, just to make it a little more dynamic and so we don't have to keep changing it a hundred different times. Let's set these up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the host and the port, in, well not necessarily the port, but the host into a, into a um, variable like I did the port. So let's go up here, I'm gonna call it host and then it's just going to be HTTP local host. Definitely two slashes. All right. So now that's the same as this, and we can replace this with host. So now we have host and port. So now we just have to put them together for the URL. I'm going to say host plus. Let's throw that in there plus port and then we can also add a trailing slash all right so now this should do the same thing let's actually change um, the port to be 3002 all right so we'll save that let's stop this and now when we make this change, we should see the port change to 3002. And also we're gonna be running on 3002 here. So let's see, all right. So fake server started on port 3002, successfully registered registry.test. And as we can see, it reformatted again, and our port has now changed. So as we can see, we have dynamically set it up to the point where whenever our API starts, we will register this and any changes will be uh, made to the registry. So this is pretty much what I wanted to do in this tutorial. So I'll stop the video here and um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next video.